Hey, what is up? I'm Zaf, and welcome to Make Your Formation, the series where you make your formations and I try them out. So, before we start this 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 week's Make Your Formation, I would just like to clear. I would like to make it clear, like because I feel like people don't understand how we're going to make this work. So the way this we're going to make this work is that I will display. The, the, the available mercenaries that I have this week which I will be putting right now on, on the screen and what you have to do is make your formation based on the mercenaries that I have because if you make formations with mercenaries that I don't have I would not be able to to test it out because I don't have them and also I'm not a whale so I, I cannot just get mercenaries on on the go so yeah our formation for yeah let's get let's get let's get on with this week's formation by the way this is the formation that i use in arena currently in arena it has a good win rate on offense and it would have been better actually if i did not lose with the current formation that we are going to discuss right now so yeah i also did not attack much that that's why i'm only at ruby so yeah let's go ahead to the formation that we're going to be putting on right now so we have here a barbara an empty and then a barbara and then a christina where's christina christina anastasia and then stella where is it where you girl stella and then uh cecilia and then on the mid lane we have lucius and then on the bot lane we have Cowley, Michaela, and Refi. Where is Michaela? Michaela and then Refi. With a turn order of of one Stella and then Refi and then Michaela and then Christina, Barbara, Anastasia, and then Lucius. Oh no 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 Cecilia, Lucius. <coughs> excuse me and then Cowley. So this is. The formation that we have that we are going to be discussing right now so let's go ahead to I, i'm just gonna go ahead and say that this formation is bad <laughs> this formation is bad so we're going to start with why it's a bad formation number one it will rip to uh, a grand because i see like the uh, the user what's his name again what is your name again mr yoshinoz is trying to Trying, trying to use this formation as a grand counter. The problem with this is that if the grand is on the top lane and on a skip formation, the Christina will die because she goes first. And then the Barbara, if if the, the grand and the other team would, would attack after Christina, then maybe the Barbara could counter. But if the grand and the other team will not attack and there is a Lucius in the front line, the Barbara will instead attack the Lucius and will not do anything. It will probably, it can probably pop the Death Guard if she has enough damage. I feel like she has enough damage because it's double crit damage. I feel, I don't know, you had it in your comment that you wanted to put a double crit rate, double crit rune, which I, I feel like you meant crit damage because there is already so much crit right now from Stella. Just from Stella, you get max crit and another 10% from Michaela. And then some more from from Refi. So I feel like you meant crit damage, so I use crit damage. So if you use her like this, she will maybe pop the Death Guard on Lucius if she, she does enough damage. I feel I feel like she will with the triple buff. But if this if the Grand is like way behind, then it will not do anything, and it will instead kill both your Christina and Anastasia, which is really bad because you will be losing so much of your warriors. Okay, number two, this team has nothing to counter a plus 12 Angelica or anything that has 100% defense. You will not be, you will not be able to kill a plus 12 Angelica with this. You have no fixed damage and no, <laughs> this will just rip to Michaela or 100% defense merc mercenaries. Number three, the mid lane Lucius is a really bad spot for formations like this, like for formations where you have your offense on the top lane it's bad to put lucius in here if you put every your offense lane in here that would be a really really good place for lucius but if you put them in the top then that's bad 
Why it's bad? It's bad because Lucius is only really protecting you from mid lane. If the enemy is on the top lane, you will rip, especially since you, you have your Christina go first. If the top lane has a skip position, if the top lane has hit their offense in the top lane as well, and they have a, what's it? a Cecilia on the skip, your Christina will attack the Cecilia, and I don't feel like Christina at the moment will be able to kill a Cecilia. So that is, I don't I actually don't know if triple buff, but if in case she doesn't kill Cecilia, it's going to be, it's not going to be great. You're going to be wasting a turn, and if the, the enemy has an ass mode, it will rip your Cecilia and your Stella, and if usually it's going to be followed by Dalvi, it will rip your Anastasia, and you will only be left with the Barbara to attack next. And yeah, that's 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 a, that's a bad placement for Lucius because it's only protecting one lane. If the enemy is on the bot lane, it's also going to be really bad because it's gonna rip everyone, and then it's gonna skip the Lucius, and it's gonna rip everyone in the top. So. Yeah, that's a bad position. Like, if you're going to use a position like this, your top if your top will rip, if your top will oof, then the Lucius will only be protecting the Cowley. And the Cowley is not going to carry you, like, most of the time, it's not going to carry your entire battle. So yeah, that is a kind of bad placement for Lucius. For Barbara, well, the only real bad thing about this is it's got is a Valze. It will rip the was it the Barbara and also number four the current meta right now Nia is better than Christina there is no point to use Christina right now and probably on January when she gets plus 15 that's when she'll be usable Nia is so much better than Christina Christina right now like probably if the enemy is in the top lane you face an enemy in the top lane without a skip Cecilia that will be really good but it's just too risky to use Christina right now. She's just not as great as she will be in January. So the good things about this formation is that, is that if the lane is matched well with Lucius, like if you have a top lane with a Lucius, then that will be really good for this formation. Also, it is good for ass mode, like not in the top lane. It, the, it, the positioning for ass mode in the mid lane would be good. Also, in the bot lane, it will be okay because Refi will most likely survive the ass mode. Michaela will almost probably also survive ass mode. The problem is that ass mode is, is usually followed by a Dalvi, which is the same thing I'm doing right now. So they will still oof the front line. Also, if you want to have a different placement for Lucius, another thing is that I talk about if you're in the bot lane, you can put the Lucius in the middle. If your offense, this is not this is not the exact formation, okay? If your offense is in the mid lane, you can put Lucius on the top. That way, he protects both bot lane and the top lane. But this kind of formation, it's ju it's just not it's not great. It's a waste. It wastes the potential of Lucius to protect two lanes. So, yeah, I think I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, if you want to check out the other the battle, the sample battles for this formation, I do have them here. I will put them at the end of this video. And if you want to support me, please do check out my other channel and subscribe to my other channel in the description. And if you want to join this make your formation thing that we're doing every week, I will display again the available mercenaries that you can make the formation. And then we will try, you know, the most the comments with the most likes will be the formation I'll use. But if we don't have people liking the comments, then I'm just gonna pick it on my own. So, yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna leave you with the sample battles now, and I'm gonna go. Goodbye.